Today a lady at Albertsons told me I looked like Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Been working with that all day. When am I supposed to say that? In what role? <laughs> what are you supposed to say to that? I'm doing good though. Uh, my wife and I just celebrated our three year anniversary. Yeah, thank you. We celebrated, we went out, we got tattoos together. Yeah, romantic. We got them in the same spot on our forearms. They don't like exactly match, but they complement each other, you know? I got an outline of the rock formation in Joshua Tree National Park where we had our wedding ceremony. Yeah, yeah right? And then <laughs> underneath it, written in her favorite font. Uh, she has, I'm a listener, she has a favorite font. It's Helvetica, she's basic. Um, it says the word valley. Her name is Valerie, but Valley is the nickname I gave her on our first date together. Yeah, very sweet, you know? And then her tattoo right there says, my husband's a little bitch. <laughs> it's in Comic Sans. And then there's a drawing of me peeing sitting down. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm a Latino or Latinx is what you're supposed to say now, right, white lady? Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> Latinx, Latino is uh, gender bias. That's not cool, you know? Latinx sounds like a Mexican bug spray. <laughs> Do you have cucarachas in your casa? Use Latinx. The official bug killer of la raza. <laughs> wow, that's a Halloween store laugh. I love that. <laughs> that's wild. My wife is white, she's real white. Uh, she's Joe Biden, uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, she is white though. She's from Iowa, that's how white she is. I don't know. Have you guys ever been there? Yeah? Well, I'll tell you, there's uh, people that have it. It's not very diverse there. I was there for Christmas, I was the only black guy there. I was the only <laughs> black guy they'd ever seen. They're like, are you Scotty Pippen? And I was like, read a book, jeez. She's dope, I love my wife, but there's always these little reminders that we're in an interracial relationship. Like we were having sex recently, and she said something she's, uh, she never said before. She said, speak Spanish to me. Yeah, and I was like, que? <laughs> it's un poquito creepy. It wasn't even before, it was during sex, she went, speak Spanish to me. I was like, is this a raid? I know my rights, I know my rights. It weirded me out, because it's a thing. Women have a, like a Latin fetish, you know? It's a whole thing. They will corner you at a party, they'll walk right up to you and be like, so, I hear you're from Los Angeles. I live in Santa Monica, but I'm originally from Chicago. <laughs> Sometimes there's not, they're not so forthright with their fetish. They're sneaky about it. You won't know until they lure you back to their bedroom, put a sombrero on your head, and then they're like, let the rhythm take you over, bailamos. It's weird, I don't like it. I don't being a, like objectified like that, you know? Like as a Latin lover. I mean, if you throw a rose at me, will I catch it in my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> we all can, it's day one stuff. But I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I think it'll be fun, mix it up, you know? Speak some Spanish to it, it'll be fun, right? So I do it, I, I launch into it. I start with the basics, right? I'm like, I. <laughs> Ooh, ay, 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 que niña más mala. Que atrevida. Ay, no me mires así con esos ojos tan azules. Esa piel tan blanca. Esas piernas tan largas y fuertes. Ven acá, bésame. She's, she's loving it. Like in English, I'm whatever. You throw a little chimichurri on the steak, it's a little more appetizing, you know? So she's all into it, she's loving it. I'm not a big dirty talker, I start running out of shit to say, right? So I'm like, ay, la cama. Like, I start naming objects in the room. Mira el techo, mira la pared, la pared. Y el baño, el baño tan grande, mira que baño. Que baño más sucio, por qué baño está tan sucio? Yo lo limpié la semana pasada y ahora está sucio. Por tu madre, por favor, limpialo. She has no idea what I'm saying. Her Spanish is worse than I thought. She thinks I'm fucking Pablo Neruda right now. 
So I really, I, I'm like, I can say whatever. So I say, voy a meter un montón de periódico chino en tu Nissan Altima. <laughs> Turns out I'm gonna stuff a bunch of Chinese newspapers in your Nissan Altima. <laughs> and it was the best sex we ever had. <laughs> it was amazing, because we both won. She got her Latin lover fantasy, and I got to ask her boobs where the library is. <laughs> That's right, I said, donde esta la biblioteca? And that is the dumb end to that joke. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking about becoming a dad. Yeah, I think it's dad time. I mean, it's time. I have too many fun shirts, first of all. I have to become a dad or start selling cocaine. I think that's how that works. Also, I'm sick of being an uncle. I'm Latino, I've been an uncle since fifth grade. My grandma's 11. <laughs> it's time for me to step it up, you know? I want to have a kid. I want that kid to speak Spanish. That's important to me. And I want it to speak Spanish well. My sister has a son. He speaks Spanish like this. He's like, hola, abuela. <laughs> Feliz Navidad. <laughs> like a fucking bilingual ninja turtle and shit. He's like, hola, mi amo, Miguel Angelo, el fiesta, dude. <laughs> Speak Spanish, I'm Cuban. Hold the applause. And uh, <laughs> now I'm Cuban, and I'm the first person in my family born in the United States. Anybody else? Where's your family from? Guatemala. Guatemala, shit, hell yeah. You're whiter looking than me, that's dope. <laughs> that's awesome. Did your parents put a lot of pressure on you when you were growing up? They were chill? Oh, yeah. What do they want you to be when you grow up? Graduate high school. <laughs> okay, all right, set the bar. Whatever. Whatever you wanted. Okay, well, I hope they cut this part of the taping out. Um, <laughs> I was like, this is gonna be interesting. This is someone from New Zealand. And they're like, no, Guatemala. My parents are totally chill. Uh, what? My parents were not chill. They had such high expectations. They wanted me to be a fucking astronaut. No, they were in the country for a year when I was born. They wanted me to go to fucking space. Isn't that crazy? I think my parents forgot that they're hardworking immigrants. I'm an American. My dream is to get hit by a Walmart truck, get paid for the rest of my life. <laughs> 